Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really fast and easy team you can use to just blast your way through these towers. Now, this is a guild-based event, so if you'd like, you can go to the reward section straight away and grab whatever's there, because your guild may have started and earned some rewards already, so grab them. But secondly, you are absolutely wanna, gonna wanna go to the shop and grab a tier one and tier two as an absolute essential. Like tier one, you get a potion of enchantment amongst other things, really cool. And a tier two, you pick up old man oak root. Really, really important this dude. He's the siege breaker. He's the one that does extra damage versus the towers. So really, really cool. So grab tier two. Tier three, if you've got enough gems, absolutely grab this at the same time. Eruption of Roses, a really, really cool weapon. Explode magic plus one green gems, grant a random status effect to all Fey allies, then summon a Fey troop. These weapons that do the explodey mana gen thing, granting status effects and a summon are absolutely superb. And this one is really, really good. It's got tangling as part of its upgrade, which means it entangles the first troop when you cast it. And yeah, with the likes of Leprechaun and Rowan being Fey, this is just a match made in heaven. For those troops, absolutely superb, so grab that. Spend some of those vault keys if you've still got some. Pick up some extra gems if you are short right now. That's a good way to pick up those gems. Right, anyway, on to the fight itself. First team, really easy. You don't need Old Man Oak Troops. because there's no towers. And we're going to be doing plenty of damage anyway. Stick on Medals of Guard to increase the power of Rowan, plus eight armor to all troops. Rowan deals scatter damage boosted by her armor. So the higher your armor is, the more damage she does. You can increase the armor of Rowan by casting Shield of Urskaya onto her. This gives an ally magic plus one armor boosted by all enemy attack. So the higher enemy attack it gets as the stages get more tricky, then the more powerful our Rowan gets. Then enrages and barriers them, which is really cool because it allows her to get one hit without reducing her armor. Really cool weapon. And again, if you have this one upgraded, it has shielding. So when you cast this, you will get a shield not only on Rowan, but you will get a shield or barrier on yourself at the same time. King Oberon is here to give all Fey allies a 50% start with mana. And if you end up casting it, it can give yourself a load of life at the same time, which is cool. And Leprechaun gives ourselves a completely fast start and gains bonus green from green matches. It's like one of those teams almost picks itself. You can't almost not have this team. It's like it really is the best starting team. Uh, we're going to be in Frost Mage for this because we want to be a Fey at the same time. The reason is when King Oberon casts, it gives um, life to all allies, then creates a Firestorm and enchants all Fey allies. So if you need to cast twice on Rowan, for example, or your shield, then um, a really good way to get enchanted and do it all over again. So really, really straightforward. The banner for this is going to be plus two green, plus one brown, minus one yellow, Pax banner is a warband banner, but if you don't have that one, just pick something else because, which gives you a nice plus two green benefit. Um, there's one that does a minus one on purple as well. Leprechaun is the least important out of, out of these, so um, something like that is okay. Uh, there are others, so um, yeah, just have a look at something that does a nice plus two green benefit. Right, so class wise, Frost Mage, yep, 25% chance to freeze somebody. Snap Freeze, Insulated, Anti-Magic Sphere, Mana Source, Deluge, Water Mastery. So we get plus green and plus blue. Mystic Channel. Oh, that one? That one? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's crack on. Yeah, she's Fey Elemental. Right, so the first stage is going to be really fast and easy. Fire Giant. Mate, you're going to look like an ant after this. Like, Rowan's ready straight away because of the potion of explosion. It's going to be so fast, it's ridiculous. We didn't even need Leprechaun. So I'm not going to show many of these early ones because this is um, going to be just boring because it's just going to be almost auto-win. It's going to happen again. No, it's not, not quite. So we cast Leprechaun. We were enchanted anyway. You didn't even have to cast Leprechaun. Right, enough of them. I'm not going to show all these levels. It's going to be silly. Let's jump forward a bit. All right, I've jumped forward quite a bit now and still working really really well all you do is cast your shield of a sky onto your rowan to get that extra boost grab something like that if it comes along that um brown sleeper match where it just got robbed from me but um yeah with the potion of enchantment we're ready next round anyway i don't even care about getting that four match they can have that 
The boost on the moment on Rowan normally for me is plus 256. Cast the shield of her sky onto her first, like that. Now that becomes 518. So the more powerful the enemy gets, the more boost you get onto your Rowan. Really cool, didn't need to do that. Done it just because we're wiping out all the towers in one go. No need for me right now for multiple old man oak roots and things like that. You can pop them in there if you're a, you're a newer player to the game and your Rowan isn't doing as much damage. But again, you can just cast that Shield of Eskire onto your Rowan. And use your Leprechaun to get it going again. Like, I'll do one cast here like this. Let's see how this works out. One cast like that. Now let's cast our Leprechaun. This should charge up Rowan pretty much at the same time. Like that. Let's cast that onto Rowan. The boost is going to be mahusive. 516. More than enough. No need for the Siege Breakers right now. Job done! Super duper crazy easy. In my case, the old man Oak Troop is just sitting there twiddling his thumbs, wondering why he even bothered to come along. Can cast this one as well. Give life, enchant all phase. That's going to be everybody so we can get Rowan up nice and fast, ready for the second cast. I just made a pollen. Right, and I uh, might as well make it the last one. It's really clear how this works. Super easy to use. So this technically means you don't need tier one and tier two, as I said at the start of the video. You just need literally, oh, that was nice, um, Shield of Sky and Rowan. You can um, save some sigils if you like. Just, <laughs> just a wrecking machine. Right, anyway, none left. There it is. So grab your extra rewards when you're done if you feel like it. Super easy event, absolutely crazy easy. But there's a video if you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful. Be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. We've got my Guild Wars battles later. Be fun for that. Bye for now.